Good at morning, I think, everyone. I'm Bormack. This is Tales of Fantasia, and I am tired. Whew. Mostly from the weather and shoveling snow. And the hardest part about that was shoveling the car out of the snow, because the snow plows piled all the snow in the street up against the car. That was fun, let me tell you. I'm also a little sad. Nobody's watching these. I mean, the last five have gotten zero views so far. Ah, this game just turn isn't turning out to be as popular as I'd hoped. But I'm going to see it through anyway. Eventually, someone will find it entertaining. That's my hope anyway. If nothing else, I'm going to watch them. Because I love this game. And I think my voice acting has been tolerable. I really like how I did Bard's voice. If I could just remember how it sounded. I, I don't want to mess it up. Sort of a hillbilly-ish thing. I think that suits him. Living out in the frigging mountains by himself. Anyway. That's enough rambling. Let's play. Alright. First things is first, before I forget. Gotta give him his ring. These rings are his best equipment, basically. Do I have anything else? Nope. Let's go. I'll talk to him once more. Uh, I hope I don't mess the voice up. Come here, you. You'll want to take a rope with you as there are drops you may need to climb down. You can buy some rope in Harmel Village just north of here. I already did that, but thank you. I think I nailed the voice. So, here's the first large area for this particular chapter. And this is what you needed the pickaxe for. Explosive rocks. Yes, the rocks here are explosive. Harpies! I see you! I wish Kles could move as fast as he does when he's attacking all the time in combat. That'd be handy. Whoa! Yeah. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this on YouTube, but there's like this really fast wind thing with leaves and dirt getting blown around. Barriers. And those things are the cause of said barrier, so we have to deal with them. I feel sick! Mini boss battle! Not this one. Boom! But that heals them. Disappointed I am. And Mint and Clark just stand there. Clark's really handy later on, but at the beginning he doesn't do a dang thing because he has no spells. But that's why slips are awesome. They drop rune balls. My fellow slips are losing control of their powers of the, from the air of the realm of magic. It is seeping out of several roots in the cave. Beep, 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 beep. Realm of magic? It's shulky sickness caused by overexposure to the air from the magical realm. Shulky? The slips have lost their minds? Oh. What is Shoki? It's the air from the realm of magic. The 
mountain must connect to that realm somehow. A rift must have opened between the two. The air is seeping out of those rifts. The sliffs are breathing it in. We humans can survive for a while, but magic-based beings cannot if they are not like, acclimated to it. Then they'll end up like the others. Then let's fix the rifts. Keep an eye out for the holes in the ground. Agreed. First, we got some awesome rune bottles. Let's put them to use. Um, nope, can't use it on jet boots. Don't want to use it on that. Tech doll, heavy stone, savory. Oh yeah, red savory. Oh man, I just remember there's going to be some nasty fights coming up. Increases one strength rating by two. That's for Kless, obviously. Red Savory! TP by ten. Mint's got plenty, we give it to Clark. It's not gonna do him any good now, but it will soon. Mint gets more than enough until really late in the game, just on her own. Later in the game, she has a lot of really expensive. It's a whirlwind. I wonder if the Slits made it. I would guess so, since it's a friggin' whirlwind just hovering there. That's a good block there. Ow! Jerk! Stop it! That would be foolish. So I guess we're gonna have to deal with this one. Ow. Harpies! I think Clarth is pretty good at blocking with his book. Come on. Tink. That is a really... I mean, look at him. He's just, like, ignoring them, practically. Get him! Get him, Clarth! <laughs> yeah, you guys pull your weight for once. <laughs> He's got a really awesome block rate. I'll give him that. Stop flying so I can dual kick you. I leveled up! Yay! And that. Apple gummy. I can't carry anymore. Now I can carry one. First hole, what's in here? Stupid harpies everywhere. We'll save our game again. Cause there are some really nasty things coming. Not guests. Oh, I should have bought some holy bottles. Well, if I die horrendously, you'll get to see something interesting. I might live. I mean, I'm pretty. I've got all the best gear I can have at this point, I do believe. Unless I just keep going. No. Can't go that way. I have to go down, but first I want to look up here. No. There's nothing for me in that direction yet. Stupid 
zombies. Skill up my dual kick. I don't know why his voice gets so muffled when he's standing at the edge of the screen. I would say it's a nice effect, but I don't think it was intentional. So we're just going to use a rope. Point. Climbing ropes. We got attacked on a rope. But it's just zombies. I didn't know you could get attacked on the rope. Stupid zombie with your bugging out purple eye. Lots of money, anyway. Pickaxe, go! Are these rocks explosive, too? In, no, no, they're just regular rocks, I guess. Disintegrated slightly, but still rocks. Harpies! Ow. Ah. No. If you get under them like that, they can't do a dang thing. They're just stun locked. When you start hitting them. Spy lens. Not the most useful thing ever. Boom! I shouldn't have given them that lavender. Now his strength is too high. He's just breaking walls down left and right. Die. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not very timely. Time saving. But we're getting up there as far as mastering the skills go. 68, 58. Hey, there's a rope. Yes! Might be a little repetitive fighting these same groups over and over, but we're going to need the experience, and I'm not grinding, I'm progressing forward. So what's up the rope? Harpies! Hey, Sliss. Ugh, help me. Help has arrived in the form of an axe to your face. Got the high flying one. Now he can get under these two. Lab. Rune bottle. Yay, rune bottle. Bloop, bloop, bloop. But now we want to go down and out. Yes. Despite the fact that the slips get boss music, they're not very tough going to be fighting much tougher things in a bit. Thank you, Mint. Oh. No, I've been poisoned. Ow. Levels up all around. I'm still poisoned. But Remedy Bottle fixes that. Now, what skill did you get, Mint? Delay. your TP. Item Kite Shield. Item Ember Cloak. Don't need either. 
I don't think we can get to that until after we've saved the slips because it's like, oh, ow. gone. We can go up there, but first... Yeah, we're saving again. Now we can go up there. If we didn't get attacked, anyway. Stupid zombies. Stop! goggling at me with that giant purple eyeball. It's creepy. Stop. There we go. Enough of the zombies. Thank you, sir. And here's the air they were talking about. Should be noted, while you're in this air, there's a chance that you'll run across an extremely powerful monster. Ow. And you'll also take damage. Ow, 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 ow. But it's not much damage. Ow, 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 ow. No, 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 no. Okay, just harpies. I don't want to die. I have beat them before like this, but it took forever. Seriously, forever, and it was not worth it. They don't give much experience. You just roll this stone into the rift, and by roll you mean shove because it has no rolling animation. Maybe the strong ones only show up underground. Well, we're in a cave, but under the cave. The under cave. Oh, there's another one. Get him, Clus! How? slits we can't get at until later. And we did need more than one rope. Uh. Boom! That's what I think of you, Mr. Zombie. I think you'd look really good with a lightning bolt embedded in you. More of a gash, I guess. Anyway, that was the timer. Um, oh. And here's the underground doom area. We'll save, and I'll start a new video, guys. Just give me a minute.